So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up interviewers with Kobo Collect on their Android device so that they can collect data um, with your Kobo Toolbox form. So I'm assuming you already have a project in Kobo Toolbox and you already have a form ready to go. And I'm going to focus in this video on how to set up those interviewers. So the first thing your new interviewer will need to do is to create their own account on Kobo Toolbox. So I'm going to log myself out here. And I'm going to go to create an account. So I'm going to create myself um, a little test account. Oh, apologies. Username must only be in lowercase. Your name can be in uh, upper and lower case. And now for my email, I'm going to use um, the survey email. This is an email that's particularly for that's for a particular survey team, a shared email account. You can have more than one user. Uh, using the same email with Kobo Collect. Okay, and we're going to create this account in Kobo Toolbox. So you need to be able to access the email address that you've just used. So I'm going to pop here over to the, um, the email address I've just entered and here we can see your activate your toolbox account email. You click on this activation bar or link and now this is the the new Kobo toolbox account for this um, interviewer. For this next step we're going to go to a Kobo Collect app on the interviewer's Android device. So now we're on the interviewer's Android device and we're going to download and set up Kobo Collect. So we're going to start by going to Play Store and then uh, typing in Kobo Collect. And it's the first um, app that comes up here at the top. And we're going to install that on this device. OK, it's now downloaded onto this device, so we're going to open it up and set it up for this particular interviewer. So we need to go to the menu, which is these three little dots in the top right hand corner, and go to General Settings. We start by opening up the URL just here. And uh, when you first download Kobo Collect, it starts with this default user, and we want to delete this. Um, and in, introduce our uh, proper username and password. But the first thing we need to do is delete the user, this default username from the URL, leaving just this Kobo Toolbox uh, web address. Click OK. Now we go to the username and we enter in the user, uh, username that we've just set up on um, Kobo Toolbox. And then we also need to enter the password and click OK. OK, so this is now set up. This Kobo Collect is now set up for this particular interviewer. We now need to go back to uh, Kobo Toolbox and set up this interviewer to be able to submit data to our particular form. So I'm now back, now back on my own uh, Kobo Toolbox account and I'm going to add my new interviewer set up to this particular form. So we open up the project, um, here is the form and we're going across to the settings. Now scroll down to the bottom, give it some time to catch up and you can see these are all the people that can currently submit data to this form. 
and I'm going to add this new Ellie Hebe test to this little group um, of people that can submit data. So setting myself up as a new interviewer for this particular form. And I'm going to select this can submit to. I'm going to save permissions. And then save changes up here. Now if we go back to the form, we can see that this form is not currently um, deployed, it says it's undeployed and that's because we've just made this adjustment of adding a new interviewer. So what we need to do is to redeploy this form. I'm going to overwrite the existing deployment and that's OK. And that's now done. So for this next session, section we're going to go back to Kobo Collect on the Android device. So now we're back on Kobo Collect on the Android device and what we need to do is to get the form, the questionnaire form, onto this Kobo Collect app. So we're going to click Get Blank Form. We're going to wait while this uh, Kobo Collect uh, connects to the server. We're, we're using the same username and password as we've just set up in general settings, so we click OK. And now we can see that this form has been sent to this Kobo Collect device, so we're going to click Tick and we're going to ask to get selected. Click OK. And now if we go to fill blank form, we can see that our form is here. We're going to tap on that and it will open up the form so that then we can collect data. You can swipe to the left to move to the next uh, question or swipe um, to, the, um, to the right in order to move back to a previous question. Okay, so that's how to set up Kobo Collect app. Um, just to show you quickly what it looks like when you've finished, um, I'm going to click yes to this, um, to all of the uh, required questions in this form and just slide past any of those non-required questions so that we can get to the end of this particular uh, survey. I'm going to click Save Form and Exit now that we've finished collecting data. And you'll see now that we have this uh, Send Finalized Form has a, a one in the brackets. If we open that up, we can see that this is the form that we've just filled in. If we click Tick and Send Selected, that completed form will then be sent to the Kobo uh, Toolbox account. So the data has now been submitted to that Kobo Toolbox account. And that's specifically the Kobo Toolbox account where that form lived. So not the interviewer's Kobo Toolbox account, but the one that was set up to, um, with the actual form to control the interviewer data from many interviewers coming into one project. And just click OK. I'm back in my Kobo Toolbox account on my laptop now. Just a reminder that if you need help with using Kobo Toolbox, they've got a very good help section which you can access down here. And for example, there's lots of advice here on collecting data, how to set up people for data collection. You can also speak to them through this little chat box here. You can start a new conversation and ask them questions if you're struggling. Okay, that's it for this video.